it depends on the person. I don't think there's any particular one, is there? You know, that would suit everyone. I mean, don't read grey and green. Uh, God, I can't do this. I just can't do the bedtime books and things. So I just what, 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 what do you read? In bed? Mm. Anything that's going. Yeah, I've been reading cool. James Joyce lately. I've been going back to my old stuff. So, I, you know, a lot of people wouldn't consider that bedtime reading, would they? Mm. But so what I consider bedtime reading is perhaps not normal. But is it a type of genre? I like, like horror stories as well. I do like reading horror stories in bed. And you're not supposed to read them in bed, are no, you? No, I was just going to suggest not to read uh, any Chuck Palahniuk if you don't want your head filled with uh, sinister and uh, disturbing ideas last thing at night. But um, <laughs> I remember when I was smaller, I used to read a lot of uh, Douglas Adams before switching the lights out, just mm -hmm. to to, uh, I guess, stimulate the imagination and, and maybe help to promote yeah. some interesting dreams, perhaps. <laughs> I like, I quite like something that's, I don't like something too bland when I go to sleep, because I like something that's kind of trying to jerk me back away from all the time, yeah. I think. Because sleep is yeah. so boring, isn't it? Let's boring, face it. Yeah. It is yeah. very, very boring, <laughs> yes. So, so you want something that you're going to have to kind of fight against, so that it's gripping you so much that, that you actually have to feel your eyes closing. Yeah. And you know, the book's falling out of your hand and so on, don't you think? I think so. Yes. Yeah. Great, thank you.